G'day there, mates. Welcome back to the arena. And we have drones versus what looks to be a DPS projection comp with a lot of E-War support. I'm, of course, Wingnut, joined by Myra. And uh, what are you looking at this one, Myra, yourself? What are you thinking? Oh, he's seeing us come here again. We have a Geddon on, uh, on Piglet's side, so... <clears throat> My, so and uh, have you seen the Geddon has no guns whatsoever? So it's another full control Geddon, so... However, the Tempest is probably the one thing he doesn't want to engage because that thing has a uh, projection at range and a lot of damage and spare mids and spare highs. So it's honestly, I don't know if that Gen's going to have a good time, but he definitely will ruin the Augur's day. Oh, yeah. See, seeing uh, the Ben the Raven, I was just instantly uh, ready for some kind of shenanigans coming from here. But yeah, this is going to be fun to see what could happen here. I'm very glad to see a Tempest for sure. They're one of my favorite ships behind, of course, you know, Vindicator and Hyperion. But uh, match on the way, we immediately see drones being dropped, uh, curators from the Armageddon, and uh, a bunch of a DPS drones from everything else. Vespers, infiltrators going in. The Augur is already being hit. Uh, already into armor here, actually. That's taking some quite large hits. I suspect he will not last long. We're seeing ECM drones, I think, from the Ashimu. And yeah, that Augur, he, there's nowhere to run and there's nowhere to hide. He's now on a timer for his life. They need to make his life count. And at the moment, it doesn't look like they're really doing that. They're trying to go for the hyena first. No, the, <clears throat> the light drones are definitely... No, so these are Vespers. They're definitely... No. Nope. And sentries, yeah. Vespers and sentries have just basically removed them. Yeah, it doesn't That's matter how logical. fast you fly, you get shot down by sentries. Yeah, there's nowhere in the arena you can run. So at that point, they've lost their logic. What are they doing with it? By the looks of it, not much. Oh, we have a Draugr now on the Decalfa side, just instantly going into half armor almost. Yeah, also, also the Tempest and Brutus Navy, both of their like, ranged DPX projection ships have both been tracking Disrupted, so they're going to have trouble even hitting things. As the um, Lazy Piglets team is just taking their time, pulling back. Looks like they're moving towards the Jump Beacon, just to you know, give the warning that they might jump away. And yeah, there's just nothing they can really do at this point. They're just going to get, uh, oh, I'm not going to say kited by an Armageddon, but they're definitely going to be uh, somewhat controlled with the Hyena keeping things back. But the Hyena has been basically hard tackled at this point. They're trying desperately to kill it. <laughs> I feel definitely bad for that Hyena having that, that massive amount of drones on it. Just nowhere to hide. Interesting thing is that the Hyena is probably like fully neutered out. He's webbed out. He's jammed out. And they're still like, no, we must kill it. <laughs> we must kill this thing. <laughs> and meanwhile, we have a brute, the Brutus Navier suit from Kalsif is actually all of us all, almost going into structure now. Oof, 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 oof. I mean, I, I'd love to dream that it's a surprise whole Brutus Navy, but, uh, you yeah, know. No, uh, doesn't seem nah. like it. Nah. Uh, his hull sudden tag, uh, 9%. I was about to get hopeful, but no, he is definitely not, and he is going to die remarkably quickly. This team, unfortunately, I don't know if you get, got, got counterpicked or just got uh, picked apart perfectly. No Logi drones on their Augur that I saw, nothing but DPS drones, and that just got them killed, I think. Uh, I simply just think this is it was the uh, drone swarm from just and picking the uh, Augur apart piece by piece. Mm -hmm. Having yeah, a hard time with sentries is they are constant pressure at all times. You basically cannot escape them. And uh, the moment they saw that, I honestly they feel like they should have reacted. And if they had the Logi drones, I don't think they even did, to be honest, but. I haven't unfortunately, seen if, yeah, unfortunately, if they didn't, that was kind of Augur dead, nothing they can do. And at that point, you're, like, you're now chasing a drone comp. And we've seen this back in, like, uh, not, it was, yeah, it was last year's Anger Games, even, where drone comps could just run away from everything else. And we're seeing it again here. Just you, you can't really hold these comps down cleanly. Even if you capture one, you can't catch the entire team. I guess, yeah, Geddon's been tackled down by, I think it's the Yashimu. Oh, so yeah, finally, his uh, mirror has just been cruising around, going ECM everywhere. Yes. And the funny thing is, actually, the, obviously, the Geddon's kind of well known for its ability to, to newt things. The Ashima is also well known for its ability to suck things. And in that situation, the, while the Geddon, the base of the Geddon would lose out by nuting the Ashima, because the Ashima would just get back enough capacity to hold the scram. So you actually yes. see that the Geddon isn't even really bothering. Speaking of the Ashima, <clears throat> Esmer, it's. Gone down oh, here. Yes. It is gone, yes. Yeah, it's such a beautiful ship being blown up. Yeah. All right, I'm going to see what the rest of this team does. What's the sense on him doing? Hopefully he's gone for the Edge of Glory. Please go for the Edge of Glory. I don't think he's no, getting he's not. there. Well, he's going to die anyway. You, you just can't escape the, these uh, drones. And yep, gone, he be. 
yeah, Kals have did a, did a good valid intent, but simply just been taken apart by tiny angry bees. <laughs> I, I love the change of the name Centers for Advanced Suffering. <laughs> I mean, uh, Tempest going on top of the Geddon, he could maybe kill... No, he can't. Okay. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a hopeful man sometimes, but uh, that Tempest is not killing that Geddon under Logi support. Not happening, brother. Also, please control space, my guy. Please. Just just control space the Tempest, please. Please. Please control space. No. Okay, I think I think he just did it. No, he didn't. Okay. Oh, they're bumping each each other and <sighs> Yeah. It's just a the long blown out drawn dying here. A Tempest is too tanky, that's something I never thought I'd say. Please control space, my guy. <laughs> it's one of those things you learn, you learn as battleship parts is that, uh, yeah, you want to control space your damn ship so you stop uh, out tracking yourself at times. He's obviously not going particularly fast, but there's no point doing moving, especially while being tracking disrupted. So it's better just to control space to you know guarantee the best chance to hit. Yeah. He's slowing down now, as you can see. He's actually pretty much pretty much stopped. So he's, he's finally done it. Maybe a bit delayed. Potentially could lose, you know, Make up the number in your head, really, how much damage he could have lost doing that. But either way, he's basically at zero now, so you just do damage while he dies. But he was never going to kill the Geddon to begin with. But it's just one of those things that's something you want to learn and kind of keep in your, in your brain when it's time to stop moving your ship. You're not a frigate. You're not a frigate, and it takes a while to stop, yes. I will say that uh, center, the center of event suffering is winning on the skin game, though. Yeah, I always love that skin in the Tempest. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the best Tempest skins in the game. What's this? It's the Chainbreaker one, isn't it? I think so, yeah. It's been, it's been a while since I've actually bothered looking. That and the um, the Capsule Day skin. Oh, I love that one. But Tempest goes pop in a moment. And there it there goes. We go. Beautiful, well, beautiful explosions. Respect to Lazy Piglets, a completely dominating victory, and that's going to be the first of their best of three. And with that, we'll go back to the studio and see what they think.